the rise and fall of MySpace. Oh, 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 MySpace. <laughs> I loved MySpace. Um, MySpace, uh, I jumped on MySpace in 2004, um, put up my music page in, in 2005, and that's just when they started. And um, it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> um, it really, it really, really was a special thing. And uh, it's really sad that it's not really around anymore because it was, it was, um, it was a platform that to a small extent leveled the playing field uh, between an independent artist and a major artist because um, one, you had access to people around the world. Two, you had um, a structure that you had to work within. And it was the same structure as what the major artist had. You could only put up a certain amount of pictures. You could only put up a certain amount of songs. You could only fancy up your page with HTML as best as anyone else. So it was, it was really, really, really special. Um, it was a way that you can get people to listen to your music and pay attention to your music. Um, you could friend request and it wasn't weird and it wasn't uh, considered a bad thing to actually reach out to people you don't know and say, hey, want to be my friend and <laughs> want to listen to my music? And people actually wanted to. And um, for it, 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 it infiltrated people's lives and it became part of their lives that uh, they had this, these people that weren't their friends in the real world that they came and talked to like a, like a pen pal. Um, and it became, hey, there's this music that I found on here that isn't on the radio and isn't mainstream and is really independent and I found it. Or they friend requested me and that's how I found it or whatever. My friend liked it and told me about it. So now it's mine and had this feeling of being, hey, this is mine. I found it. I wasn't force fed it, it wasn't driven down my throat, it wasn't repetition that did it, I actually liked it. And um, it, it was really, really, really cool and really special. Um, I can't stress that enough how cool it was and special it was. Um, it, it was a situation where every day you can get honest feedback and, and understand or, or get a feel if people like what you do and like your music. Um, you could put up a song and people could tell you, hey, this is awesome. Hey, this sucks. Hey, I don't like this. Hey, you know, you do not look pretty. I don't know, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but it was, it, was, it was really cool. And if you did it the right way and, and worked on it um, and had a handle of how to use it, you could be very successful. Um, I literally sold albums to people in 30 countries because of MySpace. And I sold shirts, AJB clothing, to people in 30 countries because of MySpace. And I still have people that pay attention to what I do because of MySpace. Um, and I'm talking about MySpace before the music industry took it over, before, uh, before it was bought out by uh, Rupert Murdoch or whatever. Um, when it was really independent itself, it had a, a vibe to it that it was really cool. And that's when people were really into it. And like I said, they would find your music, you would friend request them. You could go out to them. You can go out and be proactive. And I believe as an artist that you should be proactive. I don't believe anybody's good enough to sit around and everyone comes to you because that is not reality. Um, even people that seem like that, they have a company behind them making that seem that way. This was an opportunity where you can get on, the, I would wake up every morning, I would get on there, I would friend request, I would friend request, and I would friend request, and people would tell me if they liked it. And if they liked it, they'd be my friend. And if I talked to them, they liked it, and they would buy my stuff. And you'd have this relationship with, with people that like what you do, which I still have um, now on Facebook and whatever comes next. But 
it gets dil diluted a little bit because it's harder and harder and harder for it to to for to sustain that or make new new fans because now things are like you have to know people like it's not it's just different before I go off on that tangent it's just different and with MySpace it was honest and it was real and it was an opportunity where you can introduce what you do to people and if they liked it they'd respond and that was happening and and you know I got up to close to 40,000 people on my friends list whatever um, and that was there was no bots and we never I never paid for plays I never paid for there were things where you could get automatic friend requests and automatic never use that this was manually done and not everyone on that list was a fan or, or totally into it. Some people didn't pay attention, but there was a lot of people that did. And they would repost your videos, they would repost your songs, they'd put their, your song on their page because it made them feel cool. They'd put your, their, your banner on their page, they'd put your pictures on their page. It was really, really, really fun and, uh, and, and awesome, awesome to see. And, um, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, once once it was bought out, um, any time a company or whatever, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing corporations, but any time like a corporation says, oh, the kids think something's cool, and then they kind of take control of it, people that think it's cool don't think it's cool anymore because it's no longer alternative to what was mainstream. And MySpace was no different. Um, it, it, once it became cool to like, or, you know, the corporation said, Hey, this is cool. We're going to buy it. The people that were cool that were on there decided this isn't cool anymore. So people got sick of it, got sick of spam, got sick of bands that didn't know how to use it and would just plaster your page with advertisements of themselves and all the downsides of it people got sick of. So people started going over to Facebook. Once people started going over to Facebook, MySpace started to die. So it was pretty quick. It was in within like a year that it died. And um, it, it was funny because we would sit down. We would have, we've had meetings with executives in the music industry and we would talk about MySpace like, hey, look, I'm, I have all this stuff going on in MySpace. And at first they would be like, oh, yeah, uh, well, that doesn't count. MySpace doesn't count. It's not real. And it'd be like, but my album sales are real. Like, the people holding my CD in a picture is real. The people buying the t-shirts and wearing them is real. And everyone would play it off and snicker like it wasn't a big deal. Then all of a sudden the music industry buys it. Or whatever. The music industry takes hold of the music side of it. And now all of a sudden all the major artists are using it. Well, it goes back to what I said. Everyone that liked finding indie bands and alternative bands that were really independent, well, now they're getting plastered with all the major stuff on there. So they're going to go somewhere else. People also, this, the, the way social networking evolved was, hey, this is a waste of my time or this is taking up too much time. I only want to talk to people I know. I only want to talk to people that I'm friends with in the real world. I want privacy, quote unquote. Um, I want to be more private in a social networking site. <laughs> but, but it, so people went to Facebook and didn't want to be bothered by a band or didn't want to be bothered by a stranger. And um, I, I hated Facebook at first because you couldn't be friends with people you didn't know in the real world and stuff. And then they opened it up a little bit and MySpace was dying and I, I had to be a hypocrite and I had to sign up onto Facebook and it's worked, you know, we've been able to, it was a rebuilding process, it was a long process of like getting the people that are interested in what you do, finding them on Facebook, getting them back, getting them to pay attention to what you do still. Um, but it worked and so now Facebook is the new way and uh, and they push Twitter on you and that's I guess the new way to but um, MySpace was special and I think as time goes by um, I think there's gonna be a lot of 
things about it saying, pointing out how that window of time was, was a big deal. And, and I think that window got closed because it was such a big deal. I really do.